Let's explore how UVs impact spherical objects and other primitive geometry. Create a new sphere. Click this icon up here or go under Create, Polygon Primitives, and you can find a bunch of polygon primitives right here. Assign a new shader to this. Right click, assign new material, and I'm going to select Lambert to the color slot of Lambert. Going to attach by clicking this icon. The input will be file, and that file will be, click this icon, the browser, will be this smile blue to make it a little easier to see for another step coming up. So there's our smile blue. It's like, wow, it's one big smile. However, I want the smile to just be on the front of this face. I've seen with the UV and plane video, by scaling the UVs, this image will multiply across the surface. What we need to do is separate just the front region to have this image and the UVs on the back is not repeating the smiley area of the image. Let me open up the UV editor, UV UV editor. This is the UV layout for this sphere. First thing I'm going to do is just scale all these UVs until I see my smiley face only within this area. There'll be multiple smiles on the sphere. I'm not going to be worried about that. I'll take care of that next. Using the scale tool, R key, I'm going to scale this up, which will now multiply number of smileys. That's okay. And I'm looking for this smiley right here. Let me move it over a little. Scale it, get it back into the same proportions as the original image. R key for scale. Maybe it could be a little bigger. And scaling it just to make the eyes match what they are in the original image. Okay, that's step one. Step two, how to get rid of all these smileys on the other side. This is going to be accomplished by selecting all those UVs and then packing them into a little corner of this image. This is also used when you're texture packing. And texture packing is when instead of just one smiley face here, it might be a smiley face, a tattoo, that little smiley sphere gets, and a hairline and some ears. And that would all be included on this one image. I have to apply those other image areas to this object in the appropriate space. You will select the UVs and move them to the area that represents this character. Right now, I'm just interested in erasing all the other smileys on here. This will go by pretty quickly. I'm going to select here, or I could have selected at, over here in UVs. I'll just select the faces. And these faces are the ones that I want to preserve. Just want to smile here. Now I'm going to use Select Inverse. Select Inverse to select everything else. And I seem to have missed a few little ones, so I cleaned it up over here. Right click on the UVs from the drop down menu, go to Cut and Sew, and select Cut. Click off, then click back on again. If you select the W key, you can see you can move all these UVs over. I'm going to select Inverse again. Let me do it a little quicker. I'm selecting just what I want to keep again. Select Inverse. And now I could just move everything over. With all these UVs selected, I could use a Scale tool. And I could scale everything teeny tiny to the point where you can't see them anymore. And move them over here. When I click off, all the other smiley faces are gone. Excellent. And the reason they're gone is because all those UVs were moved to an empty area of your image. This works. I just want to streamline this technique. I'm going to hit a bunch of undos to the point where our character is still one big UV.
So at this point, instead of cutting on the face level, I'm gonna cut on the edge level. And that's going to create one outer shell and one inner shell, and that's gonna be much easier to manipulate. Whether I'm doing it here or here, I'll select the edges in the UV editor this time. Click, shift, double click to select up to here. Click, shift, double click to select up to here. Click, shift, double click to select this line. Click this one, shift, double click, select this line. In the viewport, you could see I selected edges going around smiley face. I'm going to apply the same procedure as before. Right click, cut, sew, cut. I'm going to right click, go to UV shell level, and this is one shell, and this is the second shell out here. A lot easier to manipulate. Then I'll just do the same thing as before. I'll just scale this very small and shove it in a corner. Now where this fails, fails miserably, if you have a JPEG compression, let's say right here, like that, and you take this UV shell and you, and you move it right over here, then you can get this ugliness on this UV magnified somewhere on the back side. Right here are the blurry spots from this JPEG compression. So if you're going to use this technique, make sure your JPEG is cleaner than the one I'm using here, which is a recycled smiley face JPEG. And then this technique will work out. With this technique, we also can add other features to this character. Let's take a look at the Photoshop file. I'm going to, in this corner, give the character a tattoo called Smile. A smiley face is an original, but smiley face is always smiling. Smile. And I don't want smile to appear on the front face of the character. I just want this tattoo to appear somewhere on its side. Let me resave this file. And I'm going to call it Smile Blue 2. Save. Going to Maya. Let me close this window for a second. Selecting the object, track down the shader, Lambert, the material, follow the color swatch upstream to the input, the file to input, and instead of blue two, I could just type in the number two and enter and it would work. But if you like to search around your hard drive, click on the browser icon, select blue two, open. All right, well, we don't see Smiley up here. That's good. And the reason that we don't see Smiley anywhere here is because the way the UVs are laid out. Going back to the UV UV editor for this, our current Smiley face is protected behind this UV grid right here. And this word Smile is beyond the grid. I don't want to move this all these UVs over to this word Smile. I'll just do like before. I just want maybe Smile to appear right here. I'm going to select the edges going around here and then drag them to the word smile. Click, shift, click, shift, click, shift, click, shift, click, and the final shift, click. Somewhere in this tiny area right here are our UVs. Doing exactly like before when we liberated the smile face, go to right click, go down to cut and sew. Select cut. Now right click, go to the shell mode, UV shell, and I'll click on this shell. With the move tool selected, W key, I'll move these UVs towards the word smile. And there it is showing up, but it's, it's too small. Drag this over so it's on screen. So I move the UV over here. And go pan around. Alt key, middle mouse button to pan, just like the main navigation. The only thing you can't do in these 2D views is rotate. Now I'm going to scale this UV shell up, R key, scale, and you can start to see smile come into view. Move it over, W key. There, we got our smile tattoo on our character. So this is kind of like texture packing 
extra packing, things will be a little more dense. I'm not necessarily in the position you expect. Maybe the word smile will be up here, upside down. And the reason texture packing might do that is because it's trying to put many different images into a small space. So that's your introduction to how to resolve UV issues with your character. And it always goes back to your image. The better quality your image is going into the UVs, the better quality your texturing will be. Okay, here's all these imperfections because I was recycling an image. Maybe it adds character. I don't think so, but let's go with that for now.